Hi, my name is Santi and this is my sister Natalia. Welcome to Barista B YouTube channel where we're gonna share our experience and knowledge about barista. And this is the right channel for the new barista and a home barista if you want to make a perfect coffee at home. And today's video, we're gonna learn about how to make basic chip latte art. So let's, let's get started. started. Before we start, please help us to like and subscribe our channel for a more coffee focused content. Now let's make a small latte first. The first thing that you need to do when steaming the milk is to create the froth first. You need to ensure that the milk is spinning in a circular motion. Once you think you have made enough froth, move up your milk pitcher slightly to prevent it to create more froth. At this stage, you just need to hold your milk pitcher without moving up and down. This is the heating milk stage where you just need to wait until the milk gets hot. Slightly bang the milk pitcher to eliminate some large bubbles, then swirl your coffee to ensure the color of the coffee is even. Till your cup 45 degree in angles, now swirling the milk while you're filling it up until 3 quarter full. Now it's time to put your milk pitcher closer to the edge to draw the latte out. Push to the back of the cup, stop, repeat, and pull it through. Next, let's make a piccolo latte. Again, make sure it's rotating from the very first start and when you think you have made enough froth, bring your pitcher up a little bit from the first position. And this is the heating milk process where we just wait for the milk to get hot without moving the jug up and down anymore. For the piccolo latte, I like to tip some of the milk so it's easy for me to draw the latte out because we don't need a lot of milk for the coffee. Again, swirling the coffee and swirling around the milk around the cup while we're filling it up until 3 quarter full. Now it's time to draw the latte out, push, push, push and pull it through. Let's look at the coffees. They are beautiful with a perfect amount of froth for each of them. A small one is called piccolo latte, where it's like a small version of a latte. Next, let's make a large latte. We use double shot of coffee and medium size of jug and see how it's rotating from the very first start. Just a simple tip for a beginner, start with 2 or 3 leaves first when you just start and when you get more comfortable with the way you do the pattern, then slowly increase the number of the leaves. And for the temperature, I always go with 60 to 65 degrees. Now let's see how we pour, so tilt 45 degree, swirl, 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 and once it gets 3 quarter full, push the picture back to the cup, stop, repeat, and now pull it through. Next, let's make a small warm cappuccino. As we all know, cappuccino has the most froth among all coffees, so we need to make more froth. Listen to the hissing sound. It has a longer hissing sound than the latte because we want to make more froth.
that to make a large latte again so we use a medium uh, milk jug and we make sure it's rotating from the very first start and it's very important for you to understand that it's critical to have the milk force rotating because it will create a very smooth and silky texture of the milk and when you think you have made enough frost, bring your milk jug up a little bit from the first position and now this is just the heating process where we are waiting for the milk to get hot. Now this latte art is not perfect. Why? Because we pour the latte art too soon. Let's compare with the previous latte art that we made. The previous last latte that we made, we start to pour the art when the cup is 3 quarter full. While the current one, we start to pour when it's just half full. See the difference? So my tips is don't pour the frost too soon. Wait until it gets 3 quarter full. Alrighty guys, so practice makes perfect, so if you guys find the video is useful, please help us to comment down below or share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you!